Hey guys, welcome back to the ch oh for fuck's sake. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ruffy. I've never said that before. Why am I changing my intro? Anyway, welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we're gonna be doing some breeding, another 30 minute uncut breeding session. <laughs> so yeah, breeding. Um, and today it's going to be a special breeding session because I'm going to tell some story times. Yay! Because someone uh, commented, uh, like suggested it a while back, so I thought I would tell some little stories from my life and see if you guys like it and find it interesting. Uh, I hope you do. <laughs> But yeah, um, most of them are just about me getting hurt, but, um, they're always the most interesting, aren't they? Anyway, so, um, this person's at my range. Hello, person. I'm sorry, I can't yep. talk to you. I'm great, you know? uh, Anyway, uh, so, um, it's not been very long since my last reading, and if you watch, we got Arthur. Actually, I don't remember getting off Arthur. Arthur's very pretty. Really pretty, actually. Whoa! Uh, yeah, this person saying seems like you got lucky in breeding, though it might have taken it take a lot of time. I, a lot of people tell me like, oh my god, you have such good horses. I'm like, do you see how much I breed? Have you watched my breeding videos? Like, I've bred a shit ton, and I've been playing for like four, five years, four years, five years in this December. Um, so <laughs> I've had the time. Yes. Okay. Anyway. Um. Arthur's really pretty, and I kind of don't want to get rid of them, but that means I have to replace someone, and are they that pretty? Like, they've got decent stats as well. They'll be Max, which I always enjoy. See, they're better than Luna. I would just rename them, but I can't. I cannot. I'm not replacing Luna. It's not happening. I love Luna. We all know this. I love her flimsy 98 control <laughs> but uh, you have to keep her she was my first ever good horse so i've technically been breeding like for good horses since 2017 so yeah like this day was literally the day i started breeding for good horses anyway moving on breeding <laughs> do 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 okay we need to get rid of like i don't know what my life is this dexter we got really good horses. Look how pretty they are. Sorry. <clears throat> Moving on. Dexter. Goodbye, Dexter. I love you. I need another horse slot. I'm just. <laughs> Who's got time for dailies? I was so close to having all the horse slots, and then they added another one. So now I've got like two more to get. Um. But yeah. So. Um. I'll set up the thing, and then. Say the tale of the first story. So yeah, I will. Um, I'll just pick out our favorites, and then okay. So we need. That's good, is it? Eh. Am I going to sacrifice lineage for cheapage? Because the lineage, it won't, it won't affect this horse. The, the full we get, so it'll still be plus nine. Uh, no, don't. I love the name Eros for a horse. I had a horse called Eros for a while. I can't remember when. So I did. I remember this. This horse's stash is much better than this one. Have I been checking their stats? Wait, let me. Yeah, they're fine. Okay. Um, Fifteen. Yeah. I can't check the lineage, even though I saw it was fine. Um, it's quite good horses over here. Not gonna lie. Bruh. So close. Plus two. Eh, it's a little not enough. That's a very good horse. Okay, we got favorites. Oh yeah. Okay. Actually, I might get rid of Thrift Shop. Their go. Their parts are going down pretty quickly, so we'll add this one horse. 
was I gonna add? Was it you? No, it was... One of these horses I was gonna add. Was it this one? I think it was this one. No. I don't know. Is it you? Is it you? No, it's 80. I don't know. Just find another one anyway. Uh. Mm. Eh, let's go for you. What? I don't even know what's going on anymore. Okay. I'm gonna close it quick. Sorry, there was just some crap on my window. I didn't know what was going on. Okay. So I usually edit my video. Anyway. Um, okay. So let's begin. So the first, well, my first, story? my first story is. So basically, I haven't written down <laughs> what story I'm doing. Um, so when I was um, back in school, I uh, did took a class. We called it craft and design. Um, where basically you like design stuff and then you like build it and stuff. And you sell your design products and then you build them and it's pretty cool. Oh, it's a pretty good horse. We're gonna call you Eros. Carlos. Eros. Yeah. And, um, I cut myself in one of these, these classes I, I had. Um, and I didn't, like, just, like, cut myself, you know, like, cute. Like, we were working with, like, legit tools. They give us legit tools and... We have safety gear and stuff, and we use like machines and crap. And um, I stabbed myself with a chisel. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's just putting it bluntly. But yeah, I did. Um, um, are they worth? No, they're not like long made, so might as well. Um, but yeah, so I tried myself with this chisel. Um, not on purpose. But basically, I was. Um, like, I had a block of wood, and I was trying to make a little, like, I was make, trying to make it go in in the center, for like, only like a little bit, it's kind of hard to describe it, like, showing someone, but basically I was trying to chisel this, and I was holding it, and I chiseled, so holding it with my left hand, and I, hold, I was holding the chisel in my right hand, and I was chiseling towards my hand, and it slipped, and I, I hate cut myself, this is a gorgeous horse, and I'm upset it's only grade 7. We could just grade it up. I might actually. Did I not make it? Pretty much did not make it. Eh, is that worth putting up? I think it is. Um, but yeah, so I did that. I'm sorry if anyone's faint of heart and cannot take this. This is the gruesome on of the. This is the most gruesome of them all. So don't worry. Um, but yeah, so I did that, and um, I did it on purpose, of course, but yeah, so it slipped and it cut my arm hand, and it was pretty deep, and so when it happened, um, so let's say I like, I was chiseling, and then I cut myself, and then I was working at a, a workshop, a workbench, with someone, with my friend, who was opposite of me, and they just kind of looked at me, and I said, I'm okay, and then I just ran out of the room, because I was so embarrassed that I had cut myself with a chisel and I would they don't tell you to use the chisel that way they actually specifically told me not to chisel that way but I did it anyway because <laughs> I wanted to and it seemed easier so yeah so I ran out and then I ran to the bathroom um where I just like I was trying to I just, I just panicked I went to shock because I just cut myself and it was it, it was bleeding everywhere and I so I put it under water so I was like, what do I do? What do I do in this situation? And so I put it underwater and there's blood everywhere. And so I was like, oh my god. So I just like grabbed some paper towels and then held it to my hand. And I was like freaking out. Um, and I cut myself like um, in between my thumb and my hand. But it was like going into my thumb. Um, but yeah, so it was at the very bottom of my thumb. But yeah, so I was just holding it there. And then my friend came in and no one knew what happened because I just, I acted chill because I was embarrassed. And so my friend, yeah, she was like, hey. Like, are you alright? And I just yelled at her. I was like, get, get the teacher! <laughs> get. I was like freaking out. And then he, she was like, what? What's going on? And then, yeah, so they took me to. Um, I came back in. I was like, I cut my hand. Fucking help me. And so the teacher took me to the nurse's office. Um, where I, we were just, and I was, apparently I was dripping blood all the way down. I'm sorry if anyone's squeamish. Um, 
but yeah and then i um she was like can i look at it and then she like i like peeled back the um the paper towels and they're like she's like that's pretty bad because i didn't realize how bad it was she's like yeah i can see the muscle and i was like what oh my god so yeah i um so it was pretty bad and so they were like okay we have to take you to the hospital and so they my mom they called my mom to take him to the hospital because that makes the most sense but my mom was at home and she had to like i think she was selling a mattress Oh, another black dude! We kind of lucky that's a pure black dude, except the main one. Um, she was selling a mattress. That's so good. Oh my god. Um, pot. I'll call you pot arrows. Pot arrows. Um, but yeah, she was selling a mattress, and she was waiting for the guy to come, so she couldn't pick me up. <laughs> so the nurse at, called the taxi and took me to the hospital where I just sat there for a while and then my mom eventually came and then it was fine. I was just holding like this paper towel against my hand for a while. Um which is fun. I think I'm going to I think I'm gonna oh I was gonna grade up this dude but I don't know. What am I gonna do? What are we gonna do with these young boys? They've both spawned there and haven't moved. There we go. No one was going up. I was going to grade up this dude, but he's not he's not gonna grade up, he's not gonna age up for a while. So I'll probably be best just going to my other account. But yeah, okay, I'll go to my other account. I will continue the story today. <laughs> okay, we'll just go here though. Okay, go ahead. These boys that should be, they're not. I'm gonna take them down. They're uh, past their time, don't know why they're still. Oh! Oh, we're taking them down anyway. A dashi, a dashi -ish. Oh, nice! The skull is so pretty. I'm not sure if very happy with skull. Hello, give me my money. There's so much stuff on here. I'm sorry if I haven't. If you see your mail and I haven't responded to you, I'm sorry. I don't really- a lot of people just have me on their friends list on this account, and then they just like send everyone mail, so. If you want to mail me, mail my uh, main account, which just makes sense. Okay, we're gonna get rid of you. And I'll probably get rid of Critical even though last time I was like, I don't want to get rid of her. She's so pretty. Who cares? And I'm gonna keep Skull just for aesthetic purposes. <laughs> um. But yeah. Draw. I need to continue the story. I know, I'm sorry. I just need to figure out my horses first. Eh, I'll do it now. Okay, so. Um, so this is be the hospital. My mom came and. Yeah, and then they were, we got a room, we waited for like the doctor for a while, and like this nurse came in, and uh, he was just gonna like stitch me up, or whatever. And then he like felt my thumb a bit, my thumb was severed, and um, he was like, he's like, can you feel like this part? Cause half of my thumb went numb, because what had happened is I cut my nerve, but I didn't cut like the muscle thankfully, so I like, I like, cut a nerve. Adjusted the nerve, but yeah, and then he was like, Oh, you can't feel it, you're gonna have to have plastic surgery to um, put the nerve back together. <laughs> so I almost <laughs> didn't have my thumb feel healed correctly, so I was like, Oh, okay. Uh, so they just bandaged me up, and I went home, and then I was gonna have surgery in the morning. So I did, so I went home, I was just chilling with the broken thumb, it wasn't broken, it's just a not so good thumb. <laughs> And then, um, and you know, the next day I got my surgery and they put me under and stuff. And it was chill. It was, it was pretty chill. Uh, getting put on aesthetic or whatever. Whatever it is. It's, uh, I don't know what it's called. But it's very strange. Because, like, when I, when, because, like, usually they put, like, the needle into your hand. And then they give you the stuff that makes you go to sleep that way. But they, I was, like, super nervous and I was shaking and stuff. 
and like they just couldn't find the nerves so they just kept poking my head. it was awful <laughs> um what they ended up doing is they giving me like this gas stuff and then um like when it was working like you like slowly fall asleep and then i thought it, i was because like the last thing i feel was them like put down my chair that was sitting in from the sitting position i was like oh my god did it not work even though my eyes were like fully closed and it totally worked i just didn't remember anything after that but yeah so it's been a good while since like a couple years few years since i've cut it and um they it didn't i didn't get like the feeling immediately back from like so my thumb was numb for a good while and uh when we were there like we i came back a few weeks later just to check on me and stuff and they're like well if it's numb it'll heal over the course of three years and after three years if it's numb uh, it will never grow back and if it does heal then you'll have the feeling thumb and it's pretty much healed now it's pretty much the same as my thumb so it worked yay and this is a shit horse but yeah so that's the story of how i stabbed myself with the chisel <laughs> it's pretty nuts i would put photos up but i don't think the majority of people watching this would appreciate seeing a bloody thumb so i won't <laughs> but yeah so that's that story um my other story is not as long that's probably my longest one actually no it's probably i don't know when i was eight i broke my arm <laughs> fun i think i was eight i was like i was around that age um basically i ran into a pole on my bike <laughs> <laughs> on my proudest moment <laughs> i legit just ran to a pole on my bike um because i was riding a bike with my grandparents and i was riding on my cousin's bike or something and so it was a bit bigger for me and um i don't know if like because i used to live in, the, in america now i live in the uk and the bikes here don't like all the bikes here have brakes on the handlebars well for kids at least the bikes i used to have the brakes used to be if you p took the pedals if you went the, if you took the pedals backwards it would stop the bike i haven't seen that anywhere else but america so i don't know if that's an american thing or just small child bike thing but yeah so i used to have like those kind of brakes but then my cousin's bike had the one on the hands and so i on the pedals or, oh, what am i saying she had the brakes on the handlebars and so i wasn't used to it and so it was too big for me i couldn't really read the brakes as well and we were coming up into like a sidewalk and there's two poles and then they're right beside each other and then i just like closed my eyes <laughs> and i was like please go through the middle and i just i ran to a pole i fell off my my uh bike and i just injured my arm and it really hurt and my grandma was freaking out and it was pretty whack <laughs> yeah and so they, uh, I was just laying there for a while because my, my grandpa had to cycle back to the house to get the truck so they could, like, like uh, vehicle me back to the house. Ooh, the golden cards. That's the worst golden card I've ever gotten in my life. That is so sad. Um, but yeah, and so I was just walking around all day with, like, an uh, like an injured arm it was my left arm and i was holding it at a 90 degree angle because it hurt to move it and they couldn't tell if it was broken or not um until they took me to the hospital and i'm like yeah it's broken so broken arm and this my kind of cool not my proudest moment definitely but it's a pretty funny story when i tell people i was broken arm and flying into a pool. um but yeah my other story is some like drama i had with someone i don't know if i should tell it <laughs> i won't use the actual names um i'm sure most people in my real life don't watch my videos especially not 20 minutes into a 30 minute long video so um <laughs> i will just say did i get a horse i think i did i did get a horse it dolores it's like from umbrella academy i love umbrella academy season two is coming out in 10 days um when i'm recording this so that's fun um, but yeah, so the next story I had have is um, a bit of a drama, but I thought it was funny. Um, it's funny looking at it now, but it was very, it was just interesting that happened. So basically, um, when I was at school, I did this club. Um, it's kind of a club. <gasps> Black. It's so cute. Oh my god. I kind of named this one school because I've got a lighter name. 
grade seven. We're gonna have to grade this up as well. It's fine. What are we calling it? Um, I kind of want to call this one Eros, but I don't know. I'll name it Agape. Is that how you spell it? It is now. If, if it's not, I'll be so embarrassed. Not bad. Yeah, if I grade this up, it'll be fine. Oh, give me something. Oh, give me like nothing. Um, yeah. So I did this club. Um, where like I guess it was like it was part of the drama club I guess, but like our school would put on like plays and productions and like shows. And, you know, in like a show and stuff, you have like the mics, you have the lighting, and like all the backstage stuff. Basically, I was part of the group that did all the backstage stuff because in my school the kids did it instead of the teachers doing it, and it's super fun. It's one of my favorite things to do. And uh, so basically, we just ran shows and we were great. And it's basically, we called them like for the techs the tech of the shows um anyway so yeah i was doing that and it was like it was before our first show on like on like a friday we did matinees in the beginning of the video at uh, the beginning of the day and then in the later day we had like the evening show so it was before the first matinee so it was our first show of this play and um we're all like a bit skittish and stuff we're all kind of like stressing out getting ready and then our senior our stage manager I'm gonna call her Emily. Um, she was like, she wanted someone to go hold the doors to like the front bit, oh, hold the doors so people can come in. And like, we had like door stoppers, and I was like annoyed because I didn't even like mean, I didn't volunteer for it. She just chose me to go do it. And so, like, I had to go like stand near these doors and greet people. And I was like, frick this. I don't want to go greet people. So, me and my friend, um, I was, she's my friend. Maybe my friend was standing there, and we're just both like annoyed that Emily made us go stand here. And I was like, you know, I was like, I'll fuck it. I'm like, I don't even give it crap, okay? I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna not do this. And it's not even a big deal. Like, literally, we we're just holding doors. Like, we put like door stops. So, like, when we don't usually have that, it's just so annoying. So, what I did is I went into one of the uh, classrooms where all of our stuff was, and all like the people, all the performers are backstage, and I hid underneath a table. <laughs> and I started watching a season of Voltron, because it just came out that day. And so I just started watching Voltron underneath this table. <laughs> And I was just, I was just hiding from Emily because I just didn't want her to find me out because she was kind of scary and she's like two years older than me. And so like that was like a lot. <laughs> or like a year older than me, I can't remember, but she's like older than me, taller than me. <laughs> so yeah. And then, so I was just sitting there for a while and then one of the other kids, I'm gonna call him Kyle. <laughs> he, he like found me, he was like, he was like, Emily wants to go talk to you. And I was like, great, here we go. I'm gonna get in trouble. But it turns out, Emily told everyone else in tech that if they find me, to tell her to go talk to her, tell me to go talk to her, because she was pissed. She was mad, because I didn't tell do what she said. Oh, that's so annoying. Because, like, usually, when a stage manager tells you to do something, they're, like, in charge of everything backstage, including, like, the show, pretty much. They run it all. And so, like, if they tell you to go do something, you should do it. But, like, I know it's just holding a door. It's not that big of a deal. It's so... Um, so I went to go, I, like, got out. And, like, there was, like, three other tech people in the classroom trying to find me. And, um, so I, like, went to go talk to her. And she was, like, she was pissed. She was so mad at me. She was, like, she was, like, I told you to do something. And you should do it. And I was, like... And then she told me, I can't remember most of it, but it was like, I was like, but you told me it was ridiculous. Like, it's not even that big a deal. But she was just mad that I didn't just do what she said. And um, she told me, she was like, I'll remember this in the future. So, and, and that was terrifying because basically there's kind of a hierarchy. Ooh, a black. Oh, there's basically, there's a hierarchy in tech. So, like, if you're, like, a, if you're, like, setting up the mics on the stage, or if you're doing anything, like, backstage, it's kind of, like, lower, and then it goes up, and then it's, like, if you're, like, in the booth, so if you control the sound of the lighting, I like the name attacker, you're, like, kind of higher up, and then if you're a stage and stage manager or a stage manager, you're, like, on top, and at the time, I was, um, 
I was only on stage. I was setting up mics at the time. So by her saying I'm members in the future, she was basically saying like, I'll make sure you don't get a good job. Like I'm sure you won't move up to like booth in the future. And that I was so scared. I was like, oh my god, because she like, she's like one of the people that chooses who gets what role. And oh, it was I was so scared of that. I was like, oh, dude, it was a messy, <laughs> it was a messy show. Um. It was a really good show. It was one of our best shows we ever did. Like, the tech was, like, all pretty good, but everyone was so unhappy. <laughs> there was so much drama from that show. But, yeah, that was, like, one show. I'm, like, explaining it now. It sounds like such, like, a little thing, like, oh, you went to go hide underneath the table. But I, it was, like, a massive deal. <laughs> what didn't mean when it happened? Uh, but, yeah. Anyway, we got two good horses. Um, but yeah, those are my three little stories. Um, I've got more, so if you guys like these little story times, let me know. And if like if everything makes sense, let me down. Let me know. Ugh, let me know in the comments below, <laughs> because I know I talk fast. And I I'm not talking. I don't see you guys. I don't know if any of this is making sense at all. But look at these good horses you've got. Damn. Um. But yeah. I'm not ages. I'm gonna really try like two more times, and I'm gonna call it good, just so we can see if we can get another black. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty whack. I really enjoyed doing tech. Um, it's like one of my favorite things to do. I'm not. I'm not really any 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 in any other clubs. It's great. So if you guys ever like, should I join a club? Go do it, man. Go meet your those friends. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, ew, yes. Maybe this is Alicia telling me I should stop. Uh, I'm gonna leave it there. It's not as long as my other. 30 minute ones, but I just you know, still 30 minutes. But yeah. Anyway guys, if you like to see, please comment, like, and subscribe. You got you do more of these um uh, like story time ones, I would love to do that. So let me know in the comments below and I'll see you all later. Bye guys!